Hello, everyone. I'm really glad to see you here. Um, please let me know if the sound is okay, if uh, you hear me properly. Uh, please send uh, something to the chat to let me know that everything is okay. Like plus or something like, yes, I can hear you well. Um, so please, I'm just, I, I want to be sure that uh, my sound is fine. Thank you. Good. Um, I also see that not all participants are joined already. Uh, so let's them, let's give them a couple of minutes uh, to join the webinar and then we will start our presentation. Um, I should say that uh, in the end, we will send you a follow-up message uh, with the recorded video of the webinar. So yes, we will send you the uh, recorded video <laughs> and uh, we will send you a um, presentation as well. Yeah, I see that uh, everything is fine with the sound. Um, okay, let's wait just for one more minute and we will start. Um, okay, I think that uh, we can uh, start our presentation. Uh, so today the uh, presentation is about uh, progressive OTT TV monetization uh, within the OTT TV and IPTV environment. Um, so I'm really glad that you joined the webinar today. Um, my name is Alexandra and I'm a head of marketing in SPB TV. Uh, together with my colleague, uh, I'm marketing manager Lucia. Uh, we will tell you uh, more about uh, advertising campaigns that can be done on our platform. Um, also, in the end, we will show you a demo of how to create an ad campaign on uh, our platform. So in total, the webinar will take about 40 minutes. Um, the last 10 minutes, uh, we will remain for questions and answers. So you can write down your questions uh, in the chat below and uh, we will uh, answer and uh, read your questions and answer uh, in the end. Um, okay, so first, let me start with a few words about uh, SPB TV company. Um, for years, SPB TV TV has been connecting technologies and media by providing solutions for TV and video content distribution, monetization, and management. Our main product, our flagman product, is an OTT TV platform. Uh, we call it uh, SPB TV Rosing. Uh, it is a comprehensive platform for the quick launch of uh, any OTT or IPTV services from scratch under the brand of our partners, like White Label. Um, the operator or TV channel or a content provider uh, receives an individually designed functional service with effective monetization and marketing tools and uh, easily scalable to the whole world. On this slide, as you can see, uh, the Trosing platform consists of five main blocks. Uh, first is uh, the content delivery technology. Uh, which operates uh, all the content delivery um, uh, technologies on the, plot, on the platform. So it uh, aggregates the content and deliver it to the end user devices. Um, the second one is uh, the middle, a set of middleware tools, uh, which includes the content management system and customer relationship management. Uh, we also have our own recommendation engine uh, and reporting tools uh, with uh, different statistics and performance reports. 
um, and also um, advertising management blog, uh, which will be shown with more details uh, today at this webinar. Uh, this uh, advertising blog we call um, Ad Expert Platform. Uh, so this platform basically is a unique one-stop shop solution based on the several innovative complex of advertising technologies. It provides OTT services with an outstanding set of tools for monetization through advertising. Uh, it includes, uh, first, targeted banners and videos, which can be added prior, in the middle, or after the video. The second, uh, it's the solution for in-stream ad insertion, which is made for replacing TV commercials with the targeted OTT TV ads. Uh, and, the, uh, and the last one is um, the block uh, with the ads analytics. So advertisers and brands measure the performance of their OTT ads and plan TV ad campaigns with complete confidence with this system. Um, so speaking about advertising, uh, I should admit that it is a very widespread business model for OTT services. Uh, some experts uh, say that people don't want to watch ads now, so they purchase a subscription not to see it at all. Um, however, the results of our annual survey showed that uh, it's basically not like this, uh, because uh, half of the respondents, 48%, um, actually feel comfortable with uh, watching advertisements uh, before and after a TV or video. Um, so we can see that uh, the industry is getting better about delivering at payload with relevant data. So um, that viewers see ads that are important to them. Uh, thanks to personalization, which is based on location, age, or different economic strata and other data about viewers, um, these parameters ensure delivery of different ads to different viewers. So that's why we are sure that the hybrid business model, which uh, uses both subscriptions and advertising, can be more stable for any OTT TV service. Okay, let's uh, take a look to our in-stream ad insertion system. Um, SPB TV has developed its own ads detection technology that allows recognizing, uh, removing and inserting advertisements within the television stream. It allows for the accurate substitution of the commercial broadcast based on the data about the user's location, user's gender or age, um, about all this data uh, of your users in the TV service. Mm, besides marketing benefits, uh, this technology solves quality and traffic issues uh, with mobile advertisements that, are cu that our customers and us uh, uh, experienced. Uh, while developing this technology. Uh, so from the operator point of view, uh, so from the operator point of view, it was impossible to adapt uh, the quality of the ad blocks to the network capacity. Uh, a mobile client received only maximum quality. And so it could overload the mobile network and uh, make the general um, experience, viewing experience uh, worse. So, and from the user point of view, it was impossible to include external um, ads traffic to the operator's plan. So, um, the users paid for ads traffic separately. So, they paid twice, basically, for the operator's tariff and for this additional traffic. Um, and the general quality of the service fell due to the heavy ads file, which um, has been received uh, uh, by the client, so the users can be disappointed with the service in general. Um, so that's why we um, came to offer a solution for in-stream ad insertion, which uh, uh, covered these issues actually. So we use, an, the, uh, we use the transcoding technology and create seamless insertion that is suitable for every video player without delays. So this technology works independently from the user client. Uh, so the user, uh, the viewer doesn't notice the insertion and the user experience remains satisfactory and enjoyable. 
Um, this product was immediately acknowledged by industry community and uh, awarded with a TV technology prize award in 2012. And since that time, we continue developing our ad engine so, and try to make it more efficient for operators and for brands. Um, also, this technology got an international patient confirming its uniqueness. So we have several patients uh, for this uh, ad, ad insertion uh, system. Um, the most remarkable case of implementation of this technology is uh, the collaboration with the Channel One, the major federal channel in Russia. Um, a three-way dialogue between Channel One, um, national advertising company, and SPV TV resulted in a joint project for the legal in-stream ad replacement, which was launched on the SPV TV B2C service. Um, to launch this project, every partner has uh, had its task. So Channel One licensed uh, a special TV stream uh, with the uh, SCTE 35 U-tones. Uh, while advertisers prepared alternative targeted commercials block based on the SPB TV viewing data. And us, SPB TV ad expert, determined Q-tones and seamlessly replaced existing advertisement within the Channel One stream uh, with the commercials offered by these national advertisers. Uh, so after this project uh, was launched, other broadcasters followed it and decided to take part in the substitution project, in the substitution of advertisement. So currently uh, at our B2C service, we have almost 10 TV channels working with us under ad insertion technology. Um, but of course, advertising on, on ad expert is not limited to this. Uh, for advertisers and operators looking for ways to target the audience and choosing relevant and timely messages, uh, we offer a modern platform for placing banners and videos um, with a user-friendly interface and different tools for targeting and tracking campaign efficiency. Um, so our uh, platform can display pre-rolls, mid-rolls and banners which can be added to video content on the platform, uh, to any video content on the platform actually, uh, to TV channels, to videos, to series, so to anything. Uh, as the ad, uh, ad expert is a part of the OTT platform, our whole like main platform, it gathers complete information about your viewers. So with this data, advertisers understand where and when their ads reach their best performance and can target audience by different, by multiple parameters. Um, we always eager to make advertisements noticeable and comfortable for viewer at the same time. So we don't think that aggressive placements uh, that occupies half of a screen hampering the end user to join the content. That's why videos and banners are shown only while channels, movies or series are loading. In these seconds, ads get maximum attention because the user is keeping an eye on the screen. And when the channel is ready, users switch attention to the content. So you will be able, um, you will also be able to see uh, the demo of such advertisements uh, after my presentation. Um, Ad expert includes a transparent tracking system. Um, managers and marketers uh, of our partners can track 100% of impressions from the very start of uh, the campaign. Uh, they can track uh, the performance on every TV channel and video in the media plan and modify their plan if needed. Uh, we also provide data about regions and time which reach best performance. Uh, based on this data, advertisers compare viewability parameter uh, with targeting uh, and uh, improve for their campaigns in real time. Um, SPB TV business intelligence system, which is also integrated to our OTT platform Rosing, uh, offers a set of professional tools for statistics, uh, collection and targeting. Uh, this system comes equipped with the user friendly interface uh, in which uh, the TV operator can monitor different uh, statistical parameters and uh, create unique reports uh, using different filters. 
Uh, so these reports can be exported from this uh, platform um, in the formats of Excel or CSV. And uh, then you can analyze this uh, uh, data on some third party analytical systems if you would like to. Um, so what uh, are the next steps? Uh, what are the um, plans for developing? Um, uh, to detect ads in the TV stream uh, without special cue tones like we do now. Uh, we combined machine learning algorithms with the voice recognition technologies. Uh, this combination allows our ad engine to identify commercials within the stream right after just a few repetitions and then transfer this collected data to the analytical systems. So by, find, by finding repeated fragments, ad expert knows when to insert an alternative ad block, even if uh, the TV stream is not prepared for this and not matched with the special cue tones like uh, channel one did for us. Um, we believe that this technology uh, will attract um, regional advertisers and regional TV channels uh, because um, this advertisement will become available uh, not for only large brands like 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 right now. Um, so this content recognition system will detect the timely relevant placement for regional advertisers, which ads is relevant to the movie or TV shows contacts. So for example, um, a TV provider can offer uh, an ad space to a regional auto dealer before, during or after a program about cars or any other program that are relevant to this audience. Uh, so all these features, uh, uh, targeted banners and targeted videos uh, can be used uh, with this um, contextual uh, detection technology as well. Um, so um, basically this is um, uh, what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, so if you have questions, uh, if you would like to ask something, please let me know in the chat box below. Uh, in the end of the webinar, I will read all your questions and try to answer them. Um, so now, uh, please meet my colleague, Lucia. Uh, she will demonstrate how to create an actual ads on our platform. Hello. One second. Okay. So I will tell you a little bit more about our advertising platform, its abilities, capabilities, and how do you make and uh, create a ad, an ad here. So this is the main page that you will see after you're logged in uh, to our platform. Uh, so uh, there is a big list of all the advertisements that you already have. Uh, in different stages, maybe active, maybe test mode. Some of them are even stopped. Uh, there is, there are little previews, like uh, if there is an image, it means that it's banner ad. And if there is a video icon, uh, it is a video ad. Also, there are, uh, there are uh, fast filters that will help you to find the ad you want uh, very fast. You can search for new. Ads uh, that is uh, drafts active, the ads that currently running, uh, the stopped ones, uh, the and uh, the ones that are chipped. Also, you have a filter bar. You just you can just uh, type the title or the ID of the ad, and you will find it too. So I have prepared uh, an ad already, and I will show you how to edit it, how what settings it has, and how does it look in the service. So here is the settings page. There are nine blocks. The first one is general. You set the title here. You can even change it after the ad is uh, running. So, and uh, the users won't see it. See it. Uh, there is a state of the ad. It is active now, but you can change it to stopped or achieve it. The budget I've set to $100. My maximum limit is $204. It is my own uh, limit of my account. For you and for your account, it may be different. It is uh, as you said it. Next is a bid. My bid is 10 cent. Uh, on our platform, we have a bidding system in which all um, 
campaigns compete with each other based on the bid. The higher the bid, uh, the more impressions, the more click you will see, you will have. But at the same time, the advertiser will pay more if the bid is higher. The bid may uh, uh, stay for uh, impressions, CPM, or for clicks, CPC. Also, there is a very cool feature, uh, virtual bid. It is a, uh, available for the owner of the product or of, of the platform. Uh, when you check the virtual bid, your campaign still can co compete with other campaigns, uh, but at the same time, you don't spend your money. Uh, the bid and the budget is totally virtual. Uh, there is uh, no real money needed. So, uh, yeah, excuse me, mm -hmm. uh, sorry for interrupting. Yes. I think that screen is uh, not showing what oh. you want to show. Yeah. And okay, now, I'm now, sorry. So I will just uh, run through again. So yeah. this is uh, the main page. On uh, this is the main page of the uh, settings of the ad. There are nine blocks. Uh, the first one is general. I uh, roughly said about it. There is a title. You can always change. Uh, there is a state. You can easily change, like to stop or to archive. Uh, uh, this is the budget in dollars. So my my limit is only my limit. For you, the limit may be bigger or smaller as you wish and as you set it on your account. Uh, there is a bit uh, in dollars too. Uh, all campaigns have uh, bits and they compete with each other. And the payment scheme is uh, set here, CPM or CPC, cost per meal or cost per click. And the virtual bid I was telling about, it is the bid that uh, spends only virtual money, so no real money needed. The budget can set can be set to like one dollar or even less, and the bid uh, can be set as much as you want, and you won't pay any money. But still, if you put uh, the uh, bigger bid, so many users will see your ad at first place. So, but for uh, my purposes now, the virtual bid is not needed. Uh, the next uh, useful function is a test mode. It would be very useful for your testers, so maybe marketing managers who uh, uh, start a new campaign. But beforehand, before publishing it to every user at your service, they, they need to check it. Whether the image is right, whether the link works well, uh, whether the skip ad button is on the right place. That is what you can do with the in test mode. All you need is just to put your emails here, the emails that you send in uh, with uh, uh, to your account in your service. As you can see, there is a mine one. So the second block is a schedule um, where you can uh, set the time period. Your ad will be running, as you can see, it starts today and ends in two weeks at October 19. There is also a big chart uh, with little windows and days and hours so whether you, where you can uh, select or deselect time uh, to choose what at what time your ad will be running. For example, you can select all, you can deselect and then manu manually add uh, some time. For example, you want your ad to be running on prime time only on business days. So you just select the right time you want and, and this is basically it. Or you can uh, select uh, business days entirely, maybe weekends, and just uh, add some settings manually. Uh, but let's select all for now. So uh, you can uh, also set the uh, maximum times per user will see the ad. Let's make it 10, so not to be so irritating and then you can set uh, the time uh, between uh, the ad display for one user let's set it to five minutes so every user will see the ad repeatedly in five minutes uh, down below there is a, a daily monthly and total limits that you can set in order to make your budget spending more even uh, if you don't do this there is a, a kind of um, mm, opportunity that your ad uh, will have, for example, many clicks and all your budget will be uh, done in a few days. So the next block is creatives. Uh, there is uh, the place where you choose your 
add type, it may be image or banner. banner. Ad, as you can see, I have already uploaded uh, test images for our ad, but you also can add a video type. For my uh, ad campaign, there is no video, so let's see on another campaign how does it look like. So as you can see, the video is uploaded automatically. You can play it back very easily to see whether it's right video or not. Uh, you can see all the uh, automatically transcoded resolution for the for this video. It is the common resolutions for the most used uh, devices of our viewers. So let's go back to our ad. Uh, the fourth block is action. Uh, this is what uh, uh, viewers will see after he or she clicks uh, the image or the video. They can uh, see nothing can happen if you choose done. You can choose link as uh, I did. So the user will follow the link and go to the needed page. You can also add some markers. If you want to track down on your analytical system like Google Analytics, then you can uh, create a phone call, create an email message, uh, or you can uh, lead your viewers to some channel page. Uh, this is very useful if you want to promote some channel, but you don't want your users to leave your app and go to third party browser, for example. So after they click on and add with uh, this kind of link, they will, they will stay in the app for sure and won't go anywhere. The next block is technical. It is all dedicated to uh, technical targeting. Uh, every parameter have here have um, uh, three uh, types. Target all, target only selected, and target except selected. For uh, these two, you will have to choose it yourself what you want to target. For example, content categories, it is international uh, international classification of content categories. For example, I want to target my ad to content related to books and maybe to movies too. So it is done very easy. And um, But now we want to target all. Uh, then you can target some channel on your service. For example, you want to promote something connected to children. So you need to need to choose the children channels to uh, have an interested audience. And then the platform operating systems. Operating systems are divided not only to Android and iOS, but uh, also they have version and subversions. As you can see, there is the Windows and other popular operating systems. Uh, also, you can target to your audience basing on operator, carrier type, and network your user, users currently in. Uh, you can uh, target to device types, um, desktop, tablets, smartphones, smart TVs, set boxes, everything they use. Then go to the ad spaces. Ad spaces are third party um, ad platforms, which uh, our advertising platform already integrated with. Uh, the placement, uh, here you choose, or maybe not choose, how your ad will look like on the service. It could be a side banner, maybe video pre-roll. Also, you can uh, put your ad to some uh, content of certain uh, right holder. For example, you can promote this way uh, some new series of uh, certain series, some new episodes of certain series to interested people. And then the storefronts, uh, these are the services that you own and you want to show your uh, ad in. Next one is, is uh, geography. Uh, you can uh, target the location uh, in two ways. First one, you just can uh, type it in to the bar. For example, I want some target on the country. Let it be United States. United States, and then I want to target to some region or state as for America, let it be Texas. Okay, there is a Texas. And then I want to target at some city, let it be Texas city. So as you can see, we can target on some city, region and country. So it can be targeted to any location you want. And then you can, uh, the second way of targeting is just uh, choosing and the location on the map. So as you can see, we can just target on 
people who live in Indonesia, just like this. The next uh, block is demography. If you and your service uh, collect da data of your users about their age, gender, and etc., it is automatically imports here, so you don't need to do anything else. You just go here, choose, uh, for example, the gender male, and that is it. The ad will be targeted only on the male audience already. And I should mention that if you collect uh, data about your users, the ad that you sell to other advertisers will cost more and you will have a bigger income. The next block is statistics. Here you can add a link to external advertising platform or maybe analytical platform to track your campaign too. But you can track the campaign here in our system. I will show you later. The next one is advanced. Uh, there you can set the minimum display time of the ad so the user can't skip uh, skip button at that time. Let's set it to five minutes or five seconds. Uh, then you can uh, choose the skip button mode. There are like there are four types of modes. Then you can uh, add some alternatives uh, uh, formats of the ads if if you need one. And, and that is it. Uh, the campaign is set. We need to update the ad and then let's go to our service. That's the main page of SPB TV Russia and see how does the ad work. Okay, let's go to this channel. Wow, it's loading. Okay, here is our ad and our promo banner. Let's click on here. And uh, we are on the main page back again. Uh, after the clicking uh, the ad. As you can see in the end of the link, uh, there is a, a mark uh, that you, with the what help, you can track this, um, all the clicks on your metrical system, on your analytical system, like Google Analytics, as I said before, or you can just uh, go to our statistics uh, section and uh, track it here. So as you can see, that is the main page and there is a, uh, uh, table with all the data about all the campaigns that currently are running. Uh, uh, there is a date range you can choose, like one day, seven days, uh, 30 days. Also, uh, there is a, a time period you can choose. There are two. And interactive chart. Uh, it is good because you can uh, change the lines without uh, refreshing the page. For example, you want to uh, see impressions and uh, costs just like this and then you want to see clicks then you want to com compare clicks to costs you just click like this there is no need in refreshing the page as you can see on the left side uh, there is a big number of the reports that you can form using our statistic system uh, it can go about geographical countries and cities about uh, demography gender languages you can see how many uh, people from two genders are using your service. Almost every report have a, a dynamic uh, uh, charts right here for a visible representation of all the digits uh, that you have in the table to make it easier to uh, see uh, how many people are using and what kind of uh, devices or gender they have. As you can see, there is a lot of people with not set gender. Uh, let's see a statistic of a certain ad campaign. So we go to the ad, se ad uh, section. Let's filter by impressions to get more ad with more impressions. So there is uh, this one. Now and the table has changed as you can see uh, we will go a little bit down on the table and we have only our ad. Uh, then uh, it is the same interactive and chart is here too, you can see. Uh, also, we can go to some uh, section here and let's see hourly. Uh, is there any difference in hours? Yes, some people watch mm, uh, add differently uh, based on the time. You can see the cost dependent on the hours and see whether the uh, cost are higher or lower at some, at some hours. Uh, also, you can download and export every report in CSV and XLS 
uh, formats. I should mention that in these experts, there are more data than uh, presented here in this table in web version. So you can work with all the data, compare and uh, do what you need uh, in other programs like Excel by Microsoft Office on others. So uh, this is the end uh, of the uh, quick uh, review of the advertising platform. Thank you. So Alexandra. Lucia, thank you so much. Um, I hope that it was interesting uh, and useful for you. Um, so, summarizing, um, uh, summarizing, I would like to say that our uh, ad expert system has uh, different options and different uh, um, opportunities for operators and for brands to generate extra revenue streams. Uh, so when we uh, in SPB TV um, uh, look forward to uh, to um, to follow the hybrid business model and to use both uh, subscription and advertisements uh, in our OTT TV strategy. So we include uh, um, we can uh, include advertisement from our um, promotional campaigns and from our um, revenue. Um, so, um, if you have um, any questions, please let me know. Uh, just send them to the chat box and I will try to answer. Um, as a follow up, uh, we will send you a message uh, with the recorded video and uh, the presentation uh, of the webinar today. Uh, so, in case if you um, uh, didn't see everything, uh, you will be able to see it again um, with the recorded one. Um, so for now, I can't see any questions. Um, thank you for new insights. Thank you very much. Uh, here on the screen, uh, the contact details of our success, uh, um, customer success manager, Parmesh. Uh, he will follow up you as well. Um, and if you have any questions regarding advertisement or regarding our Rosing platform, uh, you're welcome to, um, you're welcome to, to ask. Um, so for now, no questions. Um, so I think that uh, this is it for today. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for being us, uh, with us um, at this webinar and I wish you a good day. Thank you.